ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy. And I know there's been a bit of an overload of AMD news lately, especially around their CPUs. But uh, with these latest leaks, I just really needed to uh, make a video about it. I really wanted to talk about it to you guys. Uh, so let's dive right in. It's to do with Ryzen 3000. So these leaks come from, I believe originally came from a gym over at Adored TV. I know there was some posts on Reddit as well, but I believe Jim put it out first and then it sort of got picked up by everyone else from there. I have spoken to Jim about this. Me and him are friends. We get along really well and uh, he, he feels confident in it. These are leaks. These are not confirmed. So you do have to take them with a grain of salt. And Jim said that in his video too. Uh, but the information seems, I think, where what a lot of us were predicting. And so it's not beyond the realm of possibility. Let's put it that way. In the past, a lot of Jim's uh, leaks and videos he's made talking about leaks uh, have turned out to be true as well in, in some shape or form. So I feel confident. Uh, I know Jim. I talk to him and he does his research. He makes good content, so I do believe him with these leaks. So let's jump into it. I'm also going to use a WCCF tech article uh, from this as well, but they just took their information from Jim's video. So this is basically the whole CPU lineup. And let's have a look there. So we'll start at the bottom with the Ryzen 3s. So 3300, 3300X, 3300G. You can see straight away, they're all 6-core, 12-thread CPUs on the Ryzen 3 CPUs. That's amazing. Uh, base clocks sort of go up and down, but you know between 3 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. Boost clocks going all the way up to 4.3. Seeing a bit of a difference there in uh, TDP and a bit of difference in price. The G there will have the onboard graphics. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. I just want to sort of go over the CPUs as a whole first. Then we have the Ryzen 5s going up to now 8 cores, 16 threads on the Ryzen 5, so the 3600, 3600X, 3600G. Once again, you'll see the X model will have the higher clock speeds, and the G model will come with uh, inbuilt graphics. So this thing goes from uh, 3.2 gigahertz on the 3600G's base clock, and then uh, up, so up from there, and then on the high end you have 4.8 gigahertz on the 3600X for the boost clock speed, which is seriously getting up there this was something that we spoke about so many times all of us tech reviewers were saying like ryzen's great but they just need the clock speeds to get up a bit more and that's what we'll be seeing here and then with ryzen 7 3700 and 3700x both 12 core 24 thread cpus base clocks at 3.8 and 4.2 respectively and boost at 4.6 and 5 gigahertz TDP is getting up there a little bit, but nothing we haven't seen before, 95 and 105. And then we have the Ryzen 9s. So AMD copying Intel, where Intel made the i9, the 9900K, that's on the mainstream platform, and it will be looking like AMD will be following suit, putting Ryzen 9 CPUs. It's not like they had them before. Um, I mean, yeah, like, you guys know what I mean. Threadripper is like its own brand, and so is... It's, it's sort of a weird, this is slightly off topic, but I'll just tell you guys, the HEDT market and the mainstream, like the line between them now is getting so blurred that I don't even think like, it's just that we're in a weird place. That line is going to continue to blur more and more until I think it's going to be hard for many people to see the difference between them except maybe in the, the motherboards and the amount of PCI lanes and stuff like that. But definitely the line between mainstream and HEDT is getting very blurred now in a way that it never has been before. Anyway, back to the CPUs. Ryzen 9 3800X, 16 core 32 thread, and the same for the 3850X. We're seeing clock speeds getting really up there now. 4.7 uh, gigahertz on a boost for the 3800X and 5.1 for the 3850X. TDP's also getting up there and the price is a bit high, but considering $500 16 core 
5 gigahertz or 5.1 gigahertz CPU for $500. Yeah, that price is getting a little bit up there, but in terms of value, that's still a, an amazing deal for 500 US dollars. That'll be a bit beyond, I guess, what many you've got many of you guys would be willing to pay but for uh people like me other tech reviewers people that do gaming and productivity that looks like a very inviting option especially at that price point compared to uh, intel cpus at least their current lineup so what do i make of this well this if these are true intel is in so much trouble it's unbelievable you can call me an AMD shill, you can call me whatever you want. I'm not. I don't care about these companies. I'm not a shill for any company. I just, honestly, I don't care. And I run an Intel CPU. I got a 9900K and I love it. But this, if this is true, I, I'm, I'm like actually almost like speechless. And I'm not like playing this up for the camera. It's like, this is insane. 16 core 5.1 gigahertz CPU at $500 Aim Intel will be in so much trouble if this is true you have to remember these are Zen 2 as far as I know these would be uh, These would be 7 nanometer. I've seen some things some leaks saying these would be Zen plus so they would stay on 12 nanometer I don't see it that not with these speeds. This will be Zen 2 This would just be insane now let's talk about the graphics so I can get back to reality because I'm so sort of mind blown right now. Uh, <laughs> talking to Jim about this stuff has been fun as well. So <laughs> yeah, this is just crazy. So let's go back. Let's let's go back down to the Ryzen threes. And I said I'd talk about the the uh, uh, graphics, and that's what I'll talk about. So the ones have the G in them, so that'll be what's called an APU. So that will be uh, the, there'll be onboard graphics with them. If you don't don't understand that. So it's looking like the 3300G would be coming with a 15 compute units Navi 12 GPU on board. 15 compute units. That's that's decent. That's really decent for a little Ryzen 3. But it doesn't end there. When you go up to the Ryzen 5s, so that's the 8 cores, you'll be seeing on the Ryzen 5 3600G, That'll have 20 compute units on the Navi 12 GPU. That's crazy. That really, really is. And of course, that's that's where it ends. They don't have any other ones going up from there. It wouldn't make sense to do that either because you're starting to get into enthusiast territory who they're, they're definitely going to be running their own graphics card with it. So it gets pointless from there. But having... Even on the... Like an 8-core with that this sort of inbuilt graphics, which would be fairly powerful, that's going to be very, very interesting to test out. Actually, that will that one will probably be... I mean, all these other ones will be cool to check out, obviously, a 16-thread 5 gigahertz CPU. Uh, that'll be great. But the 3600G, that'll be a very unique one to check out. An 8-core 16-thread CPU with decent clock speeds on it, but a 20 compute unit Navi 12, that will be very interesting to check out, the performance on that guy. So where does this leave us then? <laughs> Let's bring it back to reality. Okay, so, and, and if you want to watch Jim's video, he went over this more, I'll leave a link in the description below as, as well as this WCCF Tech article. So you can check that out if you want. But my, my personal opinion on this, as I said before, if this is true, let's let's say this is 100% true. Also see the debut dates looking like it's going to be at CES for a lot of these. Unless Intel have got something amazing up their sleeve, this is incredible. The value price points these are coming in at, the clock speeds and the cores and threads, this is basically fixing a lot of the uh, the main weakness with the Ryzen lineup, which was the fact of the clock speeds needed to be higher. This is stunning. Yeah, it really is. That, that's all I can say, honestly, at this stage. If this comes out as is and Intel have nothing to combat it, this would be this will probably be the biggest turnaround, uh, maybe 
in the history of tech in terms of AMD turning around their very small CPU market share into just huge. Like this will really, really, like they've already been clawing back like crazy, but this will just like blow the door right off and they're just gonna be selling like crazy uh, because this is absolutely incredible. I'm blown away by this and uh, this will be huge if, if this comes to light. This will be absolutely massive and I would uh, almost immediately switch to the 3850X, uh, a 16 core, um, 16 core 5.1 gigahertz CPU. Yeah, that's happening <laughs> for me. <laughs> Damn. My, yeah, for doing videos rendering. Yeah, this is crazy. Anyway, that's enough of me just being mind blown about this. Uh, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you make of this? Pretty crazy stuff here. I had been saying for a while that I thought the clock speeds would be coming up. I didn't think they'd be going up to this degree. I also said the core count would be going up. A lot of you guys pushed back on me for that. A lot of you did. You guys were all saying like, they're not going to go above eight. Why would they need to? I mean, don't you see the irony? You're sort of parroting what Intel's been saying for years. Oh, they only need four cores. Why do they need more? It's like, why did you think they would settle at eight? What gave you that indication? I had a feeling they'd be going up 10, 12, 16. I said that in my videos and a lot of you guys were saying no, 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 no. And if this is correct, then... You know, this is what I expected to happen. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Comment section down below. Let's have a conversation about this. Uh, which one are you most interested in? Which CPU is the one that you're keeping your eye on from this latest sort of leak? Again, grain of salt. But which one would you have your eye on if these actually turned out to be true and confirmed these specs? Which one would you be most interested in? I'd really like to know. Now, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already. Like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.